Hi. Okay, so here, <laughs> here we have jackfruit. And here we have the jackfruit. The biggest tree fruit in the world. Okay, so this is the biggest tree fruit in the world. It's in the same family as fruits such as the meringue, the breadfruit, the bread nut fruit, <laughs> oh, the chimpadak, the chimpajack, which is actually a hybrid of chimpadak <laughs> and jackfruit. And this is, uh, this family is called the Artocarpus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Artocarpus. Yeah, so. Oh, there's another one called uh, Quimuk. Quimuk, something like that. There's a, there's a lot of members in the Artocarpus family. Uh, this is actually also related to, um, to figs, I believe. I could be wrong. Figs and mulberry. Anyways, uh, the fruit is known for being the biggest fruit in the world that comes from a tree. Uh, the biggest fruit in the world is actually um, a pumpkin, I believe. Pumpkin, yeah, probably a pumpkin. Most likely grown in Alaska. <laughs> um, these um, these fruits get very large, and the nice thing about them is that you can eat them at all stages pretty much uh, you can cook it you can eat it ripe you can cook it when it's uh, not ripe you can also make pulled pork with it with the rag that it has inside and I feel like this fruit can really help solve a lot of the world hunger issues if we plant more of it in the subtropics and the tropics it's a very good fruit uh, people love it in India I, I believe they call it the meat of India uh, at least some people do. Uh, I ate a lot of this in Colombia. It grows wild in Colombia. It's kind of invasive. And I had a lot of good, good jackfruit in, in Thailand. Um, in Thailand, I had some delicious jackfruit. Uh, they have the type that's chewy. There's chewy jackfruit, which is amazing. And there's also the, the soft jack uh <laughs> soft jackfruit which is actually like chewing on chewing on cotton and it's not the nicest experience to most people i happen to like it because i feel like they have better flavor like i think they have better flavor because they always they always taste better these produce very quickly from seed they actually they actually produce faster from seed than if you were to get a grafted tree even. They are just very vigorous. They grow on the tree trunks and on the, the scaffold branches of, of the jackfruit trees. The trees are very vigorous, they get very large. Anyways, I don't know what this variety is. I have some um, olive oil here to cut it open because um, they have a bunch of latex most of the time if you buy them in the USA unless you're buying them somewhere where they're grown in the USA which is only a couple locations uh, most of the time they're gonna be full of latex and they will ruin anything you use to open them so yeah this kind of prevents that from being too bad See that? It's just dripping it out. That's all latex. Unfortunately, it's not as ripe as I like them to be, but jackfruit is amazing because they can still have really good flavor, even when they are not fully ripe. This is extra virgin olive oil. Not like it matters, but. Uh, I happen to like the flavor. It's 
hard to do this when you're sitting down. Not the easiest thing to do. <laughs> I should have used something that was serrated, honestly. Anyways, here is the inside. The edible arrows are the yellow things. Uh, they can sometimes be red. My favorite jacket variety is actually Warnier Red. It's a good one. I also like Bangkok Lemon. And I like my my three. Out of the out of the three my varieties of jackfruit, my favorite is my three. <sighs> Anyways, you can actually cook the seeds. You can also eat them raw. I, I sometimes do that. I used to do that when I was raw vegan. They kind of taste like almonds. But you can definitely cook them and they kind of taste like potatoes when you cook them. Mmm. Mmm. Super sweet. They taste like Juicy fruit gum, I think it's called. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if they got the flavor for juicy fruit gum from jackfruit or not, but they might have because that's pretty much what it tastes like. I mean, different varieties have different flavors, but they're all pretty similar. This is a chewy one. This rag you can actually cook and make pulled pork, so it's useful for the vegans. So good. Mm. 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 It's so sweet. And chewy, it's meaty. It's it's a meaty fruit. I should have put some oil on the handle in hindsight. No, I just remembered I'm supposed to do that away from my body, but I keep forgetting.
so much latex, but delicious. When you get these truly, truly ripe, they actually um, have no latex. The, the latex turns into water. Some of them you can even open with your fingers. Just go like this doop, 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 and open it. <sighs> Delicious. That's, that's how I used to eat them. So sticky. It's like I'm eating glue. By the way, the smell that this fruit emits is incredible. It smells like bubble gum. Mm. Mm. It smells super fruity. If you're thinking about how to save this, because the fruits are massive, I mean, they can be up to 140 pounds or something like that. If you want to know how to store it, I like to freeze them. Just put them in Ziploc baggies and put them in the freezer. They freeze really well. Uh, when I want to eat them, I take them out, I let them thaw completely and they taste amazing as if you are eating a fresh
very small piece, yes. It tastes like the Thai ones. Okay. Don't look at my water weight, anybody. I'm currently losing weight over here. That's why my glasses is on, so I can see what the numbers on the treadmill. What do you think? Diabetes, oh my god. Sugar! Isn't that good? It's very good. Sugar! And you love these. Sugar, I'm gonna, the diabetes will come in tonight. Oh my goodness. It's very sweet. Mmm, that was really good. <laughs> do you like the smell? I love the smell. I, that's one of my favorite fruits ever. It's so dang messy though. It's so annoying to eat. Mm -hmm. I like when you buy them. Or the lady already did the work for you when you buy it from her. It's worth the extra 50 cents because it's so annoying to yeah. carry and cut and dissect. Ugh. But it's tasty. You want more. No, I'm going to get diabetes. I'm just editing. Goodbye. Right. Mm, I got some stuck in between my teeth. I got some of the rag. This is what I'm calling rag, this stuff. This is what you can eat, like pulled pork, if you like cook it. If you have a jackfruit that's ripe enough, you can actually eat the rag. I mean, I can eat the rag now, but if I eat too much of it, it becomes too annoying because it's so chewy. <laughs> it's, like, it's like chewing on tires, like rubber bands sometimes. So good. It's like eating pure sugar. Sometimes though, if you plant jackfruit seeds, 
they don't come true to seed. And the trees tend to be bigger than grafted trees. If you plant a dur um, jackfruit. I keep thinking about saying durian. I'm talking about jackfruit. The jackfruits tend to be very vigorous if you plant them from seeds. And sometimes they, they won't taste even... <laughs> they won't taste like the parents. Sorry, I really disturbed. There's like jackfruit stuck in my molars. It's like stuck in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's everywhere. Oh. Uh, it's just so sticky. No, I think I got it. It's like the most uncomfortable feeling because you know that there's something stuck in there. It's just, okay, whatever. The trees tend to grow very big from seed, uh, much bigger than they would if they were grafted. And also sometimes the fruit that the seedlings produce will have a funky taste. It'll kind of taste oniony, garlicky type of thing. I don't know why, but I have had seedling durian. <laughs> See, I keep thinking of durians because of the oniony thing. <laughs> I have had seedling jackfruits from jackfruit trees that taste like onions in jackfruit which is nice but sometimes it's a little too much and a lot of people plant jackfruit from seed because they know that it produces faster from seed a lot of the times you know but the problem is that you don't know what you're gonna get sometimes you get something very similar to the parent just on a more vigorous tree but you might get something that's not good and if you're limited on the quantity of trees you can have you're better off planting grafted jackfruit trees. I keep thinking about saying durian. I just, I'm just craving durian. I crave durian every single day of my life. There is not one day where I'm not craving durian. I'm seriously thinking about moving to Southeast Asia for a year to just eat durian. I just want to Chantaburi. I want to. I want to live in Chantaburi. <laughs> just live off durian, and then just fly throughout Southeast Asia and just get durian every day for a year and be happy. Go to all the durian growing countries and just enjoy the durians. Oh. Durians. <laughs> Chani durian. Montong. <laughs> Montong is my favorite. <laughs> Montong durian is my favorite durian. Oh, it's so good. Oh, those big cushions of deliciousness. Oh, red prawn. Oh, red prawn is so good. Black thorn. That's a great durian. Oh, durian. I miss you, durian. I mean, Jackfruit's great enough, but durian. Oh, durian. It's just. It's, it doesn't taste like a fruit. It tastes like like eating Cheesecake Factory from a fruit. It's like Cheesecake Factory growing on a tree. It's like cheesecake. I mean, there's, there are certain varieties of, of yellow sapote, the kind of stuff, that can have a cheesecake flavor. Like, for example, the Trumpo, Trumpo variety of Canastel has a cheesecake flavor, but it has a very dry consistency. It's kind of mealy. Not with durian. Durian is creamy. Creamy like custard and oily.
the aroma. Oh. A lot of people are scared away by the aroma of durian. I get lured in by the aroma of durian. It's, I get so hungry when I smell it. There's just no other fruit like it. There's n no other fruit. I mean, I've had other fatty fruits like Salfo. I think Champadak has a little bit of fat in it. The fruit from the cinnamon tree has a bit of fat like an avocado. They're actually related. Cinnamon's actually related to avocado, Persia Americana. So the cinnamon fruit's actually fatty. That's, I've had that. Eh, whatever. I've had the Pawa from Central America multiple times. Related to avocado. Tastes kind of like avocado, but also not like avocado. It tastes sweet, like milk, milky, sweet milk. It's a little bit hairy, but it's delicious. I've had Encala, which is good. You kind of have to work with it a little to make it edible because you can't just eat it. You kind of have to bruise it a bit so it tastes good. And that tastes very milky also. Still not as good as durian. Durian is just the best. It's the best. I, it's the king of fruit. I mean, mango is called the king of fruit, but I don't get the same feeling from eating mango than I do from eating durian. But it's also very easy to eat too much durian to not feel good from it. <laughs> We have a really oily fruit in Colombia called Borojo. It tastes awful. <laughs> if you don't blend it up with water and sh a lot of sugar, it tastes, it's, it's the weirdest thing. It's like a sour avocado with a million seeds, Borojo. They grow it in the Pacific coast of Colombia. The worst thing ever. But if you have it with sugar and water, delicious or with uh, milk and sugar. Amazing. What a hole. It's one of those fruits that you have to eat with something else, but they, it's it's amazing. But on its own, it's awful. It's like eating a, a fatty lemon. Really thick lemon. <laughs> I just wish I could live off durian every single day of my life. I, I would be the happiest person ever. I would live a very happy life. Oh, durian. 
I like my durian picked early, which is why I like getting durian in Thailand. Because a lot of durian growing places give it to you ripe, tree ripe, floor ripe, when you know when they drop and they open. No, I don't like them like that. I like them unripe, picked like seven days before they're ripe. Off the tree, especially if it's montong, it's my favorite way to eat them. Sometimes when I've had tree ripened or fully ripe durians, they have weird flavors like coffee and they, they numb your mouth, like they literally numb your tongue. I'm not into that. Don't like the coffee. Don't like the dark chocolate flavor. No. Mm -mm. I like sweet unripe durian. Oh, yes. Like sweet vanilla ice cream durians. Yes. Hi. This is getting difficult to do because I can definitely eat, clearly. I keep thinking about durian <laughs> and also I keep getting rags stuck in between my teeth. <laughs> it's literally stuck between my teeth. It's the worst feeling ever to have rags stuck in between your teeth. <laughs> it's like, I can, every time I talk, it's just it's like dragging on my tongue and like I just want to like grab dental floss and just take care of this, but look at my fingers. <laughs> I love jackfruit, but you know, this, this, this is, unless you're getting it fully ripe, this, this is a problem. The, the latex is just, just a lot. I mean, that's a lot. Look at that. There's, I mean, there are other fruits that have this problem. You know, like the sapodilla. Sapodilla has a really bad. But if you eat it fully ripe, it's fine. It goes away. A lot of varieties of Kaimito, the star apple, have this problem. Even when they're fully ripe, they just produce a lot of latex and like it's stuck in your lips. On your lips. <laughs> Sorry, can't English. Can't English anymore. It's like the mukbangs have degraded my brain completely. All the junk food I ate. Anyways. Yeah, latex is a problem in a lot of fruit. It's really pronounced in jackfruit because you get it all over your body. On your clothing. On your cutlery. Uh, it's just... It's the worst. It's the, I feel like I could have... I should have used gloves, but... I don't like wasting plastic. So, that's my own problem now. Uh. Tastes really good though. Jackfruit trees are very beautiful. Durian trees are so beautiful and they are massive and they can live for hundreds of years. And the older the durian tree gets, the more complex the flavor gets.
I mean, there's this Durian variety called Blackthorn that is considered inferior in flavor unless you get it from a tree that's 15 years or older. Like, it has to be like older than 50 years, 15, one five, 15 years to actually have excellent flavor. If you get it from a younger tree, it's not considered excellent. Durio Zibethanus, is how it's pronounced, Zibethanus, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, that's the, the Latin nomenclature, Noma, nomenclature, nomenclature, <laughs> nomenclature, I'm saying that wrong, I am saying that wrong, nomenclature, nomenclature, the Latin name, I'm actually planning on going to Borneo when things get better for travel to try Durio Dulcis for the first time. I've never tried it. I've always wanted to try it. Durio Dulcis. Different than most durian. Very sweet. It's because of all this sticky rag. I can't even open my mouth properly because of it. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna freeze all this. It's too much to eat at once. Oh, my, also, my, my cheeks are getting fatter and my, 
my whole face is getting fat. So like the inside of my mouth is full of fatty tissue and it's just shoot on it. Nick! Can you please turn off the camera for me? I don't want to get it full of latex. Yes. I chewed on my on my cheeks. Oh no. Yeah. What do you want? Just, is this recording? Yeah, nothing. I don't need anything. Do you want a paper towel or something? No. I'm good. Want me to give you water? No, just turn off the camera. Oh. Oh, baby.